Hi everyone, and just like that, Inktober was done. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the little clip at the start. <laughs> so, this is my Inktober sketchbook for 2019. I did not follow the official prompt list. I should just try to open this damn thing. Anyway, <laughs> so, I followed the Mabs Drawloween Club 2019 one. And I really enjoyed this. However, I did. Well, some people would maybe think that it was cheating, but I did pre sketch all 31 drawings while I was in my lunch at work, weekends, just chilling out, sort of thing. So it was just because I work full time. So it was just to make it a bit easier and doable to complete. So I really enjoyed it anyway. It was great. Up until these last four. These ones just did not do anything for me whatsoever. And the drawings kind of suffered a, a little bit. But I got them wet and I've done them all so that's fine. <clears throat> anyway, let's get into this. So, oh, but before we do, this little pouch, it has everything that I used in it. Used for it, so... Purple, oh it shows kind of blue-ish, a um, mechanical pencil, very fit fitting and you'll see why, and Windsor Newton, ink, black India ink, the orange one, that was just for the accent colours, the purple, uh, violet one, And the emerald one. So every one that I did was purple, orange, green in that order and these were some of the other bits and pieces. So oops upside down. Uni ball signal in white. This is a uh, Faber Castell Perf oh, for sake. <laughs> It's uh, an eraser, so this one's a smoother one, and this one's quite rough. Yeah, that was for really the pencil kit. She's this is for drawing out the borders, and so was this because I was not using. A dip pen for a border because it would have ended up blobby. Uh, that was just to wipe the, ink, the nibs off because I found the ink would dry up and it would clog the nib and it just wouldn't flow so every so often it would have to get cleaned up. And these. Oh, there's a couple of other razors that are in, in here. So I've got a needed one. And this bit of plastic just to keep the stickiness and stop from cat hairs getting messed into it. And this was a Milan eraser from Scrawler Box, but the names came off of it, but it's quite good. And a little clip because I had a bit of paper covering this side to protect the back of the drawing, and there's a bit of paper under in case there was any holes created for the, from the nib. So these are speedball sketching ones and these are the two that I used. I either used both or one or the other depending how I was feeling that day. So this is a list. Obviously they're done in that order. Um, my Instagram is very purple, orange, green columns uh, because that was just how I chose to do this. So it's a nice aesthetic but because of the lighting they're no sort of uniform but I did try to play with the lighting and I didn't like what it did to the drawing. It gave like a sort of grainy texture when I was trying to lighten it up or darken it. I just didn't like it so I just left them as natural. So let's get into this. This is Vampire. Q. 
catacombs. And you'll notice uh, there's like wee sort of the terminology Easter eggs or cameos from other drawings. So I hope you find them all. That. Well, not so much at the first ones, but I think this is the first one. <laughs> so this is Candelabra. Candelabra. A candle holder, basically. <laughs> so. I'll try and not explain all of them, but this one I think is my favourite though. So her hairstyle I think is really cute, which I found some inspiration off of Pinterest. And I just wish my hair was thick enough to actually style it like that, because I think I would. So yeah. That's Black Dog. The other, the, the woman was Huntress and this is Yokai. I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah. I wish I drew this one a little bit bigger though. Toad. I did do thumbnails for these but I was going to show them but I thought there's no point because they're too faint. Uh, and this was Coven. <laughs> That's a little hint to the previous one. <laughs> or one of them. Uh, this one was Witch. Now, she started Inktober for me last year. That was my first one. And she was Death Witch. So I thought, hmm, I should probably make her show up again. Uh, but this, this Inktober seemed to have formed into like a little land for me um, where all these creatures and people and beings are and a very funny draw but the hatching for the grass texture um, took a little while and you'll see it, there's quite a few uh, in this sort of like forest area it, it took a wee while but it wasn't as annoying as what you'd think it would be to do that but the only thing that I don't really like about this drawing is that our hair kind of blends in with the grass texture. I tried to make it stand out a bit more by making it a bit bolder looking, but yeah, so she's a death witch. She's got half of a fleshed face and then the bottom of her face is just the jaw bone and her teeth. And then obviously got a wee skeleton hand and a wee crow friend there. And instead of a broomstick, it's a scythe. <laughs> This one's for Tarot, so the way, I'm not going to explain everyone, but the way I'm relating this back to a previous one is Yokai because she was a kind of creepy lady and I just thought maybe she, she might have been doing a Tarot card reading for herself on the coffin while she was waiting for her man to wake up. <laughs> but I, I chose this card, the Tower. Because apparently it's one of the most um, threatening, for a word, uh, dreaded cards. That's probably a better way um, if it's been pulled out in a reading. So I, I did a wee bit of research on the, the internet and this one came up. So I thought, I quite like the, how it was like the lightning in the background in the tower and then two wee people falling down out of the tower. So, yeah. This one was cryptid and being a Scottish lass, I have to go for Loch Ness Monster. So, and then there's like a little dude there in a boat in the forest. <clears throat> Just tying it in a little bit. Chimera. So, this has a very subtle and slight reference to a Disney film. Now, this film gets referenced three times and because obviously Chimera is the head of a lion, body of a goat and the tail of a snake. So I drew it this way. I'm not very pleased with the face but I don't mind the rest of it. But this Disney film's kind of referenced so by the time I get to the third one where it's referenced hopefully you've guessed by then. 
before I actually say it in, comment below if you do. <laughs> this one was laboratory. I quite like how the sort of liquids look in the bottles. It's quite fun. Oh, I forgot to say that I used a paintbrush as well. It was just a very small point one and a once I, have, I used a flat one. This is Frankenstein. Now with this one, I wanted to make it more focused on Dr. Frankenstein rather than the Frankenstein monster. Uh, that's him sewing his arm up, getting him started. And I did leave like the Frankenstein monster's face plain because I wanted it more focused on Dr. Frankenstein. <clears throat> this one was Poison Plant and I went for Bittersweet Nightshade because it was a purple poisonous plant. So <laughs> I thought, yeah, I'll go for that. So I did do a bit of research into, into my drawings first. And this is, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I'll give it a try, Tatsal Worm. Um, so I had to research this one. I'd never heard it before, but apparently it's the body of a cat and the tail of a snake. So I thought, and this is another wee reference to the Chimera one, that these two cat liony creatures could be fighting each other. So yeah, I, I, I definitely like this one better than the Camaro one. I think the face definitely turned out better and sort of snarling, growly, attacking, fighting faces. <laughs> this one was Will of the Wisp. Quite different to the rest of them because there is so much black blocked into the picture, but I still quite like it. And they did still swimming about, although he is in the same place, but... Maybe he done a few laps and that's why it's night time in the same place. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this one was Haunted Forest. I quite like this one as well. I like how the purple turned out. And the, the reflection of this ghosty on this wee lagoon. This is Moon. It's not really any references to any previous ones, but I don't mind. I quite like how the orange turned out on the, the moon. This is Werewolf. So this, before I speak about the actual werewolf, this actually is the third reference to the Disney film. So if you see down here, this is a slight reference to Pride Rock. So if you were to see, so, where are you, are you there, and so these ones together, so you see how it comes down here, and it goes up there like that, with the rock, yeah, anyway, I don't know why I decided to do that, but for some reason I did, but I quite like how it's turned out, anyway, to the werewolf, this is another one of my favourites, I think, because I like how the texture is shown with the pen and the, the colour, making it a bit more, I don't know, bolder. And then the werewolf's skin after he'd turned into the wolf, lying there under a tree or next to the tree, because it's not in the shadow. <laughs> but yeah, I quite I like this one. Again, I had referenced the werewolf, but not drawn it exactly. It was more really for the pose and for the mouth to be open. So the, the fur I just put in myself, I wasn't wanting to have it realistic. So this one is Siren. I quite like how she turned out. Her eyes are a bit creepy, being solid colour, but or black, I think. But yeah, you know, I like how the it you can see her body slightly in the water, but not as much as you can see her head or her arms. No, I'm all right with the, how the hair is like spreading out the water, but I think it could have been easier if it was like 
an ink wash instead, but I didn't want to do any washes in it. Anyway, oh, I'm going to a bit <coughs> This is Kelpie. Now, <clears throat> I was going to do something different. Uh, there's uh, statues in Scotland, and it's of Kelpies, and it's just two heads of them, and I was going to sort of demonise them somehow, and I thought I didn't... After I was catching on to the making this sort of like wee world and re referring pictures to other pictures I just thought mm, I think I might want it to tie in a bit better so I just went and drew a wee horsey in the water I know it's supposed to have like a, a fish tail at the bottom but you can't see that so yeah this is La Llorona or La Llorona I'm not sure how to pronounce it but yeah Crying over her babies. Yeah. Creature from the back, Black Lagoon, even. <laughs> so, Black Lagoon, creature, and it's from there. <laughs> so, I've just run, I actually think it looks like a very muddy spaceman, like an astronaut, because it looks like he's, like his helmet and then his body's all covered in goop. And then that's like his wee oxygen tank right there. <laughs> but I'm fine with it. I quite like it. This is a uh, Huli Jing, I think. The nine-tailed fox. Um, I quite like this one as well. I like how the colours have turned out. And I've kept to just colouring the trees and not the grass and then colouring the main focus. Um, but I did make a little wee mistake there. That's actually a white out pen, the pen with the, the Uniball pen. But I think it's okay. Yeah. This one was Stranger Things. Now, like the... Creature from the back, Black Lagoon and Stranger Things. I didn't want to do any fan art. Now, I know Frankenstein. We well, can't really do much else with that, really, to be honest. But I thought, no, I'm just going to make it something that my own thoughts. Now, I did try and like put like a bowl of... Was it? Wait, no, that was a different one. <laughs> that was for the creek creepy candy. There was something else but I can't remember what it was. I'll need to look at the, the thumbnails to see what it was but I thought, do you know what? I'll get the the crow from the witch and the, the werewolf body and then swap their heads. That's pretty strange. It's quite creepy looking. I think that's more convincing as a creature than that one though. But, you know. <laughs> This one was alien, so here my drawings I'm not too happy with, but I tried to go for a sort of glowing effect on the trees from the alien and pumpkin guy. Yeah, it's all right. And creepy candy, although I do like the sort of candied apple baby heads. I quite like that. That looks cool. And the last and final one is Trick or Treat. And that's that for 2019 October. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Um, let me know what one's your favourite. Or if there's more than one. <laughs> um, again, thank you for watching and until the next one. Bye!